and welcome to Clearwater HQ on this glorious sunny day which is really nice been waiting what about a week for it to be like yeah this, so we can the wind and the weather get outside so this is a follow-on Phil it is from um, our previous episode yes. on 0.28 gram practical shooting exactly and a lot of people got in touch and said um, the test conditions were a bit inaccurate or was it the same person three times or was it the same person <laughs> three times however so what, and what we've gone and done is we've gone and got even more BBs. So what we're going to do today is test the practical accuracy and normal accuracy of 0 0.28 premium grade B and BBs. I think it's worth mentioning, just so everybody is aware, there is no sleight of hand. We're not rigging this now. Each bottle or bag is sealed. None of them are opened yet. So we have no idea. We haven't fired all of these. We don't know what's going to do well. I mean, obviously, Tom and myself are big fans of the blasters and the airsoft surgeons I've been using. But quite this is a, bit. a brand new bag. Brand new bag, unopened. So, should we tell the, tell the uh, subscribers what we've got? So, if you, I'll, I'll go from here. Yep. When I get to the middle, you can take okay. over. Okay. We have our favourites at the moment: the ASG Devil Blaster uh, BBs. Then we have some G and G BBs. We have some new Prol razors, which are a lot better than the original good, BB. I hear quite good things about these. Yeah, compared to their original BB release, which was troubled. And we, we picked say. up some Speckner arms at yep. the Northern Shooting Show. Yeah, Thanks thank you guys. to Artur from Speckner, who I asked if he had a little sample bag of 0.28s to so I could buy, and he gave me a kilo. So thank you very much, guys. We've got some. Again, I think this is worth making a point about, don't you? Yeah, because um, we last time we got a little, one of your subs sent you a little bag. They did. Which it was a little it unfair. Looked, it looked a bit like a Team Sky Jiffy bag delivery, you know. Yep. What's in the bag, I don't know. So we, but, so this time we've got a brand new, yes. straight from Draft Club, un, completely sealed, unused bottle. Brilliant. And, and credit to the guys at Draft Club, because we reached out to them yep. and said, you know, this is what we found with your BBs. They didn't shy away from it. They sent us a full bottle of 0.28 to try again. So, you know, many, many thanks and kudos for doing that. Okay, we've got another bag. Is this thanks to Red Wolf? And I bought those You ones. bought those, great. So ev even more, honesty. So brand new, again, completely sealed bag of Airsoft Surgeon Precision Grade 6mm BBs. And then I went off and, just out of interest, Phil, mm. I bought three separate bags of Jeff's 0.28s. Okay. I've got their normal BBs, yep. their bio BBs, and their tracer BBs. Right. Right, Phil, so we're ready. 20 yes. meter range set up. We've got these awesome splatter burst targets. Yeah, I thought for what we wanted to do, um, you know, BBs aren't gonna have any trouble punching through, but it'll make it a lot more visible. It certainly does, we've just had a little check to zero. And uh, we can patch them up, so we can use them again and again. So we've got a really good idea of what BB's doing what. Okay, so we're gonna fire 30 shots. I'm using? Using my Murray Mark 18, and uh, Phil's gonna fire 30 shots with his. Battle of the Recoils. Battle of the Recoils, so we'll see. Oh, there we go. With KWA, KWA versus, versus Mark 18. And we may, might carry that into an episode later. So let's get going, I'm gonna do 30 shots. Nice, slow, measured, get the get the dot on properly. I've got a times three magnifier, which will probably help me out. Um, let's see how we get on. So the first BB is ASG Devil 0 0.28 gram. Um, we use these a lot on the channel. Full disclosure, ASG helped me out by giving these giving me these for free. So let's see how we get on. Do it full. Pretty much on top of it. I say, you've done this before. Cool. That looks really good. Let's have That's a this. wander down and see how we got on. Yeah. Let's so, have a look. Devil Blaster, 0 0.28 gram BBs, 30 shots, 20 meter range, within 15 what? centimeters. 15 centimeters, five and a half inches. So I have my trusty erg, which we used for the BB test last time and uh, KWA 30 round low cap magazine loaded with same BBs from the same bottle as Tom just used. So everybody got safety glasses on, so good, right. Range is hot. 
Let's have a go. Get on. There's your 30. Cool. Mag out, empty. Safe to catch on. Let's, Let's have, a, go look, have Phil. a look. So I think we can see straight away there's a bit of a difference, but I was using just a green dot, yeah. uh, unmagnified optic, and as such, I was holding my point of aim about here oh, on yeah. the target. Okay. So, you're... so we're looking. Biggest I can find is about 18, 18 seven 17, inch, 7 inches, 18 centimetres. Next BB is new pole razor. There's some good things about these. These are supposed to be a lot better than the uh, the old new pro BBs. So, oh, thank well, God. so you've got a fresh target. Fresh target. It does have a couple, of, a couple of marks on it, but I do know where they are, what they are. I can go and take them off. And safety on. Safety on. We're looking at about six and a half inches in old money or 17 centimetres in new money. New Pearl Razor 2.8. KWA Erg, same gun as last time, same magazine, 30 rounds loaded, semi auto, catch. rounds. So eight and a half inches, uh, 22, just under 22 centimetres. Spreads a lot more. Yeah. Right, so Tom. Draft clubs. If you remember last time, there was one BB yeah. that actually failed to feed. But we have to be fair, we did have them. They were in, in, a, in a little baggie. Yeah, dropped off by a postman. Yeah, so, we, so don't, we don't actually know what they were, really. We, we take it on trust that they were draft club and not somebody trying to do their name a disservice, but they didn't perform well. So the guys at draft club have sent us these. They're ponied up, haven't they? They have unopened, as you can see, the seal is intact. 0.28 from their latest batch, so this one the latest batch, latest is, is the latest, how you will get them if they come out well and you decide to buy these after today. These are the ones that you will get. Um, I have to say I'm a little bit um, well. Let's, let's, let's a little bit cautious. Let's but find out. Let's find out how we get on before off. we before we comment. Let's let's give them full due care. What I'm going to do is I am just going to because there's one BB left in there from the last. Oh, so yeah. those are okay. And there's plenty in there. All draft club. So one thing they feed better in the last lot. They sound like they're going in. They're going better. in a lot better. Yeah, the last ones were a little bit um, a reluctant, weren't they? They were. Right. I will load mine up because what we're going to do for this one is we're going to shoot back to back so that we can just try and get this done a little bit quicker. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Bit of wind. No speed. Yeah, not that will be there for like four hours. 
seven. Eight. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. So that one just fell short. Didn't that one didn't even make it to the didn't even make it out of pile the of felled trees. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. That was off the target. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Oh. That was a double feed. So 17, 18. Double okay. feed, 19, 20. I would, yeah. Not doing that anymore. Not risking my gun. Okay, so we didn't even make it to 20. Okay. Are you prepared to put it for your gun? In the interest of science and fairness. Yeah. Guns loaded. Ready to go. Draft club 0.28. 30 rounds, I am going for the far right target. And away we go. Two misses and some so far. That was the frame. That's 30, and I didn't move my point of aim after the first shot where I knew where the BBs were hitting. I have not adjusted the all, point of aim at all. They're all high, which is interesting. I might weigh those later. Um, you had four complete misses, Phil, and then numerous ones off the frame as well. They did all feed, though. Okay. They did all feed. Interesting. Let's just pop down and measure that. Okay, Phil, it's interesting. So these marks weren't on the frame before. No. So these are frame hits. And you had four shots that were off the frame entirely. I, at least I didn't hear a noise. No, I could, I, I could see them when I was firing that they went past. I could hear them as well. But um, like I said at the top there, I adjusted my point of aim once after the first BB. Yeah. And then I kept the point of aim in exactly the same spot, which was around about here. Same as what I had to do with the uh, razors. So these were the razors with the point of aim down here. Yeah. These are the draft club with the points of aim. So these are my draft club. And the ones, you, the, so the ones until I called it, fine, this isn't 30 shots, but we got about seven inches out of them. Yeah. And then uh, we started falling short. And I had, a double feeds. I had two double feeds, at which point I'm not risking my gun. Um, um, but they did seven inches. With, they, you know, they're all on the target. <laughs> well, the ones that made it that far. <laughs> the ones that made it that far. Um, so the, the biggest one I can measure, Phil, is oh. 11 inches. But there were four misses, so they were bigger than that. Yeah. So, but the benefit of the doubt, the ones we collected were 11 inches, but again, there were four misses, and, and I had two sets of double feeds. And yeah, they've got the ones one, two, three, four, five six. on the wooden frame, six on the frame. frame. So, yeah, no, was, this frame hadn't been used until today, so we it's not and made it and then put it away. Hopefully, we'll be able to show you on the video as well. Airsoft surgeon. Accuracy test. Left hand target, you say? Left hand target. Okay, how long ready? One. Two. That's not bad so far. That's three. All around the ball. Bit of a fly four. Seven. 28, 29, 30. My gun's on safe. Not bad. That's that look <laughs> awful. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah. So, let's see what the erg makes of them. Dirty. Mag out. Safety on. But that's the that's new. Yeah, that's it. I think I did hear it hit a couple of times on the frame. I had six here, so that's new. Right, so that's your 
seven, seven inches. Seven inches. Six. Seven. It looks like it's on a par with the seven blasters, I think. Yep. Yeah. Um, again, my point of aim was down here. Yeah, I was holding center again. I did. And six and a half. Six, six, six and a half. Six and a half. Six. Um, and I think vertically you're looking about what four inches. Yeah. Within four inches, five at a push. So five, six by five. Six, six and a half. Six. six. So about six inches. So for me, that's pretty close to the devils. We got G and G's. Perfect spherical ball pellet. PSBP. So, again, completely new sealed bag. Open her up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I tell you what, Tom. Even from up here, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? That is. You've actually blown the middle of the target out. I think. Max in, safety's off. GMG. Precision ball pellet, bullet pellets, pellet bullets. Perfect spherical ball pellets. It's easy for you to say. Okay. Thirty. Awesome. Safety on. Uh, Yours, I have to say. That was. I shot a five by five by four. four. So four four inch group, five inch group. And with the majority of them within a three inch five inch group segment where you have good. blown so, the whole target so they apart. Were pretty excellent. You point of aim for me was around about here again but it was a lot less over this side so I was aiming here so you were doing so there's more seven and a half was there, I saw, there was a few misses there was okay so a few misses entirely so we've kind of got to go from the edge of the frame really and they were over the top weren't they yeah so, so there's eight at le inches. least eight inches group yeah. okay so we did a five with a mark 18 and a eight by eight those were already there on that frame so okay. eight by six Okay, so five inch. Five by four, really, for you. Five yeah. by five. Well, we tend to take the biggest number, don't we? So yeah, five, five, five by five, five eight five by five. Five inch group, eight inch group with their G&Gs. So my gun really likes them. Doesn't you, it just? Your gun, not so much. No. Interesting, isn't it? It and, is. And the two perform differently. So we've had a brief interlude for uh, rain and caffeine. Yep, I thought we couldn't shoot in the rain, that wouldn't be fair. So we're doing the same scenario for all. Next up, spec the arms. Precision are they? Professional. Professional. Okay, Phil, are you ready? Let's go. You I'm going to shoot one. for the left-hand target. 
Okay. And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Twenty-nine. Thirty. That's yeah, that's not a bad grouping. Right. Okay. Thirty. Okay. Copper frame hits. Safety on. And one complete miss there. Let's head down and have a look. Wowzers. Bit of a difference. Okay. Okay, so let's start with yours, Tom. So that's just like there to there, looks like there. So we're looking so at six and a half inches. 16, six and a half. So yeah, about six and a half inches. Six inches on there. 160 mil. And it's no more than. Yeah. So that's the five, biggest. Five, five and a half inches vertically. If that five inches, I think. Yeah. Okay, so six and a half biggest. And the majority of your. Again, I've punched a big hole in the middle. has made a mess. That's the Marui right. magic fill, apparently. I don't know. Well, it seems to be pretty magical. So we've got a complete so got miss up here. So we've got to there, go from there. There, all the way down to there. So we're looking at 11 and a half inches. Your gun does not like those at all. And the spread was. Yeah, we're looking at there. six and a half, six and a half versus eleven. Eleven by six. Okay. And there's no real consistency no. in even with the same point of aim, the spread I mean yours. So my point within of aim, the first twenty point of aim was here. We're pretty much all here, and then it started to go up here a bit. Yeah, and then, then I noticed kind of, it started to drift across yeah, to the left. But again, bit. they were all all released. Bang on there. So last up in our great BB test at Clearwater HQ, we've got Jeffs. Although we've got three different types of Jeffs, we've decided we're only going to shoot the standards, um, as we'll probably do a bio BB shootout at some point as well. So we'll get a load. I of think there's enough bios out there now there to now. do that. Yeah. Um, and seeing as every other BB we've used is non-biodegradable, non-tracer, it's only be fair. Wouldn't it's it? only fair to just test like. We'll definitely, we'll definitely shoot the bios. And the tracers, and, and there's also three or four different tracer brands out, so we can shoot. We can shoot them. Yeah, I've got against some G and G point two five yeah. tracers. I think up to eight. So I think a bio test and a tracer test we can do at a later date, and that'll be that's worthwhile doing. Okay, so we've got an unopened bag, an unopened bag, heat sealed at the top here, Phil. Right, skizzers. Might need the skizzers for this one. So again, nice crisp. Nobody can argue with us for our fairness in. The ammunition this time. Right, so we're doing Jeff's Precision BBs, 0.28. Mm -hmm. Normal. Normal. 30 shots. Are you ready, Phil? Fire at will. I'm going to shoot at the left hand target. The middle target's will. <laughs> the middle target of the one of Okay, and are you ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. 16, 17. Ooh, miss. miss! Miss! Right off, 18. miss. First miss with Mark 18. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Interesting. That actually is the first one out of the Marui where it's been quite... It doesn't like those. I mean, it looks like it's been shot by a shotgun. I still haven't got the right contact lens in. Just like to point that out. Well, they're very spread out, those ones. Aren't they just? Okay, so. There we go, yeah. 30 rounds. Safety on. There we go. Got there to there, which is 11, 11. inches, so. and spread vertically is from there to from there to there. So, to there. so what's that? 
nine, nine inches. Nine. So ten by nine or eleven by nine, so depending on how kind you want to be. Say ten, eleven inches. So gun, the gun is not a fan. Remember, we're shooting five and a half, six inches with some of the BBs. Six inches. Did you ever miss off the left hand side? Or I don't it? think so. I think it was off the top. The top. So measure them. So that's a hit there. So we're looking at. Does that say about 10, 11 inches for yeah. the Jeffs? Uh, yeah, by about eight. It's a nice sling you've got there, Tom. What is That's it? It's a Para Concept Slingster. Ah, same as mine. Yeah, original. Snap. Yeah. Right, Phil. Okay. So on this day, so we want to stress first. Yeah. On this day, with these guns, stock Mark 18. Which, before we started shooting, we both used 0.28s anyway, which yep. is the reason for this test. We did not adjust any sights. No. We did not adjust any hop units. We no. didn't change any hop rubbers. So this was zeroed this, at Thurliston at 45 meters. This is zeroed for 35, um, and it's got green dot and non-magnified. It is the same gun that we used for the initial BB test, so I thought it's only fair to use it yep. in this one. And as so many people do have Maruri recoils, it makes sense to do sort of, yep. you know, and use these two as the test guns. Right, so we did notice there is a difference between the two guns in general. Definitely. This one is, more accurate I'd say yeah but the trends across all the BBs are roughly the same yeah so though what we did notice is some of the some of the BBs this one really liked yeah some of the BBs that one really liked and what yeah. that tells us is you really do need to experiment with your BB brands and find the one that works yeah. best for you basically don't trust anybody who tells you the BBs are the best <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> put them in your own gun but we do have some 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 results for you and again stress these are from this day with these guns and these two shooters so we found it quite difficult to distinguish so, between the here's A's. our top top three and we're not going to say one two or three these are the top three yeah i think that's fair to put it like that don't i you? think so i think they all did within half an inch or an inch of each other um and again as we say there could be a difference depending um, on what gun. what was interesting was both did really well with the blasters yeah and i know people think that we are you know, heavily sponsored by ASG. We're not. I do get, to be fair, I've got to be, got to be honest, they, yeah. do, they do provide AATV with um, free ammo. Um, and it's, they are easily across both platforms, yeah. the most consistent. I think yours didn't like... Wasn't, wasn't so fond of these. But mine did. Yeah. And then conversely, mine. yours was like a laser almost. It ripped the target a new one yeah. with the G&G. &G. And mine was, you know, still within a reasonable grouping. Yeah, you know, it, it was like like we said, you know, these two are pretty much on par. But this was like by all, by both, and then yeah. it was the two swapped, guns swapped, swapped for those for those two. So, so the worst, unfortunately, and it really does genuinely pain me to say this because we got in touch with Draft Club, did. we waited for them to get their new batch, we waited for them to go through their new QC process, and we were sent a unopened, completely sealed, brand new. Opened it on camera. Opened it on camera today. Um, it's been kept with the other BB, so you know there's no difference in how they've yep. been stored. And um, unfortunately, you had two double feeds. Two double feeds, and I stopped shooting at that point. Um, interestingly, I got through all 30 this time, and last time I didn't have some jams and some failures to feed. It did feed all 30, but the spread. Well, they were all over the place, weren't they? So they were bouncing I mean, off the frame. If you're aiming at a target, if you're aiming at somebody's chest, you're probably going to hit them at 20 metres, maybe even at 30 metres. Above that, I wouldn't like to say, you yeah. know, with, with the Devils, with the Airsoft Surgeons, with the G&G, &G, we were getting 95 plus percent hit rate yeah. on a 12 inch target. And with the Draft Club, 75. I just can't, I certainly can't recommend putting them through Marui. And you, you stopped after 20 rounds. I'm just not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to risk damaging my gun. So, no. sorry guys, but I had to stop. I'm not going to risk damaging this. So um, unfortunately, the, the bottom of the pile, and trust us, we were genuinely rooting for them. Tried to, really hard, we to, really had. To do better. We really wanted them to do better. And then next was probably, next worst, Jeff's. I think it's interesting as well, because you know, these two brands seem to have quite a cult following. Yeah. Um, people, and this again just reinforces that, what works for one doesn't work for another. Um, I've seen people who absolutely refuse to use anything. Well, other they may well, than, as, other as we've these. seen, there may well be a case where, with a certain hot rubber or a certain brand of hot rubber, they just, they run really well. Yeah, and you know, and that again, you, you've got to experiment. Yeah. Um, Specter Arms, Specter Arms, pretty good. Yeah, I think these two, the the Newprol Razors and the Specter, again, 
pretty equal. Yeah, pretty equal. So I would go, those are my top three. If I was looking to buy bulk, I would pick from that top three. And then have a go and see which one your gun yeah, likes the best. Get a few of each if you can yeah. to try them. I would then say you won't go far wrong if you use either of these two. Yeah. Um, and I think it's fair to say as well that, again, these had comparable results across both platforms. Yeah, so there wasn't a huge amount of difference. Yeah. Um, which I think is important because, you know, the G and G were very different between the two guns. Yeah, it was really, yeah. Whereas we can't the, stress that enough. It was really apparent. The, really, the two, and the, and the two, same with the airsoft surgeon. Two guns behave very differently. Yeah. Really. So I think you know these, these are these three here are probably like the Swiss Army knives. These are the ones that have worked the best across both yeah, guns. So if you're gonna just pick up one, yeah, I would say that of course. But if you're just gonna pick up, I think you, but I think you'd agree. If I would. You, I mean, I'm just gonna I've go with one. Thousands of them. Just gonna go with one. That's probably the one. If you're willing to experiment a bit, any of these, I would say. I think, and have a go. And. If you do use these and they work great for you, I mean, Fantastic. luckily you can get these in 1,000 BB bags, so you can try them yeah. without costing the air. I just can't... Uh, I really, really wanted to say that they're actually not bad. Sorry guys, but we just can't. But we can't. Um, we're probably going to get roasted in the comments, but there you go. You know, we, we promised that we would be fair yeah. and consistent, and we have done the test using the same position, we haven't moved anything, we've used the same targets, um, we've shot exactly we the same number of BBs. We even stopped when it started drizzling to make sure it was We fair. made sure that it was the same conditions across all the tests. We could not have done it any fairer, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, every test has a loser, unfortunately. So we'll be back with uh, bio BBs, I think, is the next one to Bio, definitely, yeah. But Thanks for watching. This has been super, super interesting for both of us. It has, yeah. I've enjoyed um, this. It's been fun. It's been really good. Yeah, so thanks, thanks for watching. This is signing out from Clearwater HQ. I've been Tom Anvil Hibbard from AATV. And I've been Phil the Power Bucknell from Clearwater Airsoft. Please like, subscribe, follow Clearwater on Facebook, and we'll see you next time.